What's going on, YouTube? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, my Shock the World footage. I apologize. Um, um, I was partying with Tycho, and uh, I was supposed to do an interview with him for you guys, but um, that didn't happen. It was kind of loud, so um, I'm going to catch up with him some other time uh, and uh, do an interview with him. I'll probably be out in Soho one of these days, and we'll, you, we'll actually go around to like bathing it, like all the stores. You, you can you can just check us out hanging out and then I'll do a little interview on him. But until then, um, all right. This is what everybody's been asking me for. I've been getting emails and people messaging me and texting every all day about this. You guys wanna know what's in the swag bag, right? First, let me show you this. This is my press pass, press media pass. So I was in the press conference. I didn't videotape that. I, I, it wasn't boring. It was all. It was really cool, but um, I didn't want to record that. I was uh, in like the really far back row, so it wasn't really like I was gonna get anything good. Really cool thing. I actually got to hang out with Mr. Eby. Um. Really cool guy. I wanted to do it. I was trying to get you guys an interview, but he doesn't speak English. Yeah. <laughs> but I got a couple pictures with him. I, I shook his hand. He loved my custom pieces. Really cool guy, man. He's he's really awesome. He, I mean, he doesn't look like it, but he's really, he's an awesome dude. So that's my little souvenir for myself. I almost got um, Hayes, Eric Hayes' autograph. My um, James, he was with me. He actually got Hayes' autograph while he was searching for Hayes. I was out like mingling and you know getting contact info with other people, networking. I slipped up, but you know I'm sure I'll meet Eric Hayes another time. Um, during the press conference, it was pretty cool. Um, they did a couple tough tests with G-Shocks. They shot. They were like shooting a G-Shock out of a cannon, then they dropped it off of um, the top of the Hammerstein um, ballroom. I would say probably around 20 G-Shocks. I thought they were just throwing like 5600s, but they were throwing everything. The guy next to me actually caught um, um, the new Rise Man, the, the army one with the, with the little pterodactyl when it lights up. And I was like, are you serious? <laughs> so yeah, he got pretty lucky. But you know Danny Hansen, man. I get lucky too. So this is actually what I caught. Um, you know, I don't really think I need to do a review on it. It's uh, black and purple mud, man. You know, I'm not a big fan of these mud men. Uh, they're a little small, but you know, it'll sit in the collection. Another little souvenir. All right, the moment you guys are waiting for, right? There it goes, the swag bag. You see the 30th anniversary logo right there, designed by Eric Hayes. Let's get into this bag. Let's see what I got. Uh, oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. What do we got here? Well, we got we got a box. What could that be? Let's put that to the side and figure that out. Um, 30th anniversary t-shirt. 30th Shock the World New York. Also on this other side, we got Eric Hayes. Matt, I don't have his name on... Uh, that tag, but it's okay. Let's see what else we got in here. Um, I, I, me and Ricky was there, so they gave these out. I'm just joking, they didn't give these out, though. But um, on a side note, and no disrespect, um, I was trying to meet Dean and Ricky, like I was standing right next to them, and um, they didn't really show any love. They had like um, these really gorgeous, these, these girls that were with them. And, I, you know, I mean, I couldn't stand that they were 
paying attention to them and taking pictures and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, they didn't really show your boy Danny Handsome any love, so I don't know what to say about that. What else we got in here? We got a rubber bracelet that's also a flash drive. Pretty cool. G-Shock, 30th anniversary. Oh, you guys are going to love this. Got me a G-Shock, man. Got me a G-Man. You know what that is, right? Peg Leg Union. Pretty cool piece. You know. And this. This is something I'm going to get into with you guys later. These are the new releases right here. Um, you guys already saw some of them, but I'm going to go over with you in this in another video. This is basically... The moment that you guys waited for. You guys all want to see what's in this box. Right? This 30th anniversary G-Shock box. Um, real quick, I just want to say thank you for all the support I've been getting. And, um, you know, I'm almost at 100 subscribers. And I'm really happy. Like, I really feel like I'm really making moves. And... I, I don't know. I guess everybody's been showing me so much love, and it's just amazing to me. So here we go. Opening the box. Right. 30th anniversary. So good. There you have it. An instruction uh, manual. That's what was in the box. Nothing else, as you can see. Ah, I'm just messing with you again. You guys ready? You guys ready for this? <laughs> I know you guys are like, wait, that's it? Yeah. We got the Matt Face series. The one that didn't sell. <laughs> It was either this or the white one, I guess. Well, I mean, everybody got the same watch. Um, the interesting thing about this is the artwork on the band. 30th anniversary. And we've got... G-Shock 30th anniversary, 2012, August, New York. So there you have it. This is this is the moment you guys are waiting for. This is why I didn't make a really big fuss about it, but awesome watch. So all in all, I left with two watches. Pretty cool. I wish I caught the Rise Man. I bet you, and I can imagine they probably threw out a Frog Man too. But um, left with a Mud Man and a sixty nine hundred. And um, I guess it's safe to say this is going to be a very rare piece. <laughs> so, regular back plate, 6900 SN. So, you know, shout outs to the whole TCF. G-Shock Society, Ayako, um, Tycho, man. I was partying with Tycho, man. <sighs> Had a great time, man. I hope you check my video out. And um, Danny Handsome signing out. TCF, all day. <laughs>